So today we are going to be installing a smooth starter on this four ton traditional AC unit right here. The reason I'm putting one of these on here is because I wanna start this air conditioner using a solar inverter where the surge amp max is only 70 amps. And this is, I believe, about 110, 115 amps to start up. So it can't quite do it. Now, if you just have a standard gas or propane generator, this is gonna work great for that as well to keep these amps down. Now, I'm hoping to get this to 50, 40 to 50 amps roughly. Um, would be awesome that would be a decrease of about 60 percent disclaimer i am not a licensed electrician um, i have done some electrical work so i feel confident to install this myself if you do not don't try it this is 240 volts it can kill you so be smart now the smooth starter i'm putting on this is rated to handle between about four and six ton units and this is a four ton unit so i'm at the lower end of that so it should work great on it you're going to need to look at your rating on your air conditioning to decide which size is for you. I'll leave a link in the description for the one I'm using on this one, which most households run on about four to five to six uh, ton units. So this one should work great for you. So first thing I'm going to do is use my electrical meter to get an inrush. Basically, I can calculate the exact surge that this unit takes to run without the smooth starter right now installed. And then we'll do it again once I have the smooth starter installed and see how well it does. Now this unit that I am buying, this smooth starter, has a one year warranty. I'm hoping to get a lot more time out of it than that, but we'll just have to see. All right, so we are doing the inrush calculation here, starting the AC without the smooth starter. So let's see how it goes. 124 amps, 124.8. So this is how the unit comes pre-packaged already with these wires included in it. So you don't need to put those in yourself. And there is a very good, clear diagram here as well on this that shows you exactly what you're going to be doing. We will show you step by step how this is done. It also has this little mounting plate that you can screw in to inside where your air conditioner is, where your capacitor is and all that. And I'll show you that. And then once you screw this in place, this will just snap right into it because there's tabs on the side right here. So it seems like a very easy install. Oh, one last thing. This little green tab here where you can slide some wires in. We're not going to do anything on that on this install, but apparently what you can use that for is if this thing errors, there's an alarm that'll flash right here, and that will actually pass through to here. So if you wanted to add an LED light or something and mount it outside your air conditioner where you can see the red light flashing, you can use that. I am not going to do that, but... Yeah, that's up to you if you guys want to. Before you get started working with any of the electrical components here, make sure you turn off the power. Done. So everyone, as you can see, there is enough room for us to be able to slide the smooth starter right there. It's a tight squeeze, but we can do it. And we haven't changed out any wires. And one thing you want to make sure of is this capacitor right here can still maintain a charge. So even with the power turned off, your disconnect turned off, this can still shock you, so be very careful with that. And we haven't removed any wires yet. This is all the original install. So now we're just putting the faceplate in there, marking holes with a Sharpie. Just notice we're being very careful to not touch that capacitor that could shock us. All right, so we got some dots in there where we're gonna put some self-tappers in and mount sure. the faceplate. So now we're just gonna drill a pilot hole so it's easier to get started. And everyone make sure where you're drilling there's nothing critical back there now we've inspected it back there there's nothing around we need to be worried about these are the self-drilling screws that we are using very small all right so this is what our air conditioner looks like we've got a contactor here this black thing you see here and we also have a run capacitor here now what we're going to be doing is intercepting and tapping into just the contactor and the capacitor. So there's just a quick video of the before, what we have going. Now yours may be different. So if you go on the Smooth Starter website, they'll give you, you'll see a bunch of different diagrams you can download that um, hopefully you can find what your AC looks like. But how ours is, you can see the main wires here come off, they run in, and then they drop down inside the unit and plug in, let's see if I can zoom in, down there into the compressor. So if inside where your uh, capacitor is, 
and where your contactor is. If you see another piece of hardware and you're like, what in the heck is that? It may be a hard starter. Now what a hard starter does is make sure your uh, compressor is getting the max amount of amps possible on every start. Um, and the instructions do say you're gonna need to remove a hard starter if your unit comes with that. Now mine did not. I don't think a lot of the newer units do, but I think some of the older units may have them. So if you see another piece of hardware, you may want to determine that first um, and make sure you get that removed or it's basically just going to be counteracting your smooth starter. So double check that. All right, so we are working backwards here on the instructions. First thing we're gonna do is take this brown wire that is in the RC port there, and we're gonna plug it into the capacitor, right on the, in the C position on the capacitor, which is right there. And there was an open slot on there, so it was a very easy fit. Next is the blue wire that's labeled S there and we're going to connect that blue wire is going to be connected to the h terminal and it's back there in that little blue slot right yep in that little blue slot so there's an open spot right there for us there we go now we're going to take our black wire which is labeled c there and we're going to connect that to the t1 leg which is the left side of the contactor here all right so that's where we just plug this one right there there and notice we are connecting all these wires without having the smooth starter installed just because it's going to be a tight squeeze so we'll put all the wires on first so now we're going to remove the yellow line there on t2 which is kind of hard to see in there but there's two lines going to the t2 there two yellow we're going to remove the one with the screw there you go. we're taking that one with the screw out so where we removed that yellow one from T2, we're putting the red T2 and mounting it in its place. And then that yellow one we pulled out off the screw on T2 there, we are now going to plug that in to this R port here. So before hooking this lineup actually that we took off on the uh, T2 into the port R there, um, it does say to provide voltage to this thing prior to hooking that up just in case how the instructions put it, they say the bypass relays in the main circuit may be in an undefined switching state due to handling during shipping. Before first operation, apply supply voltage to the set relays to, to set the defined state. So basically we're gonna apply power to it. We're basically gonna start the air conditioner without the compressor line hooked up there in that last step into R. And then once we do that, then we can plug that in because apparently the smooth starter will be in the defined state that it needs to be and everything should be good. So that's what we're gonna try. All right, so we went ahead and powered on the unit again without the compressor being powered on and the fans running, everything started up as it should, which means we should have the startup current into the smooth starter right now. And we should be all set to go ahead and hook the compressor up and make our last connection. So then we could do an inrush test. And last step here, that is step number five in the instructions, is to remove this wire completely right here, which is that other one that's, let's see, I don't know if I can zoom in on it. It's in, connected to T2. And you can follow that one down. I gotta remove that and I'll also remove the side here um, where it connects right back there. So I'll remove that one off and then this thing is ready to go to be started. We'll see how big of a decline we get in the amps. Now, if you don't remove this wire, um, learn from my mistake, um, it's gonna look like it works fine. It's gonna be in the green, have the green LED on saying it's fine, but you'll only get about a 20% decrease in your starting amps because it's being overridden by this wire here. So this wire now has to come off 100% completely. All right, and that is it. Let's go give it a shot and see how low our amps go. All right, let's put power back to the AC unit. So here's our inrush with the smooth starter installed. There we go, 33 amps. Oh my gosh, that went from 125 to 33. I think that's about a 75% decrease. Wow, so... This thing's pretty impressive, guys. All right, so final thoughts on this thing. I mean, it's awesome. It decreased the amp, the starting amps by 
and that's pretty incredible. I'll have no problem starting this on my solar system now, or if you guys have a generator, you'll have no problem starting on a decent sized generator also. Um, there's a link in the description where you can buy the exact same one I did. Um, there's others online that I saw that God, it was going to be about $420 for, to do the exact same thing. I got this one for about $250, and it shipped in about two, two to three days from the supplier that I bought it from, who I'll share the link to uh, in the description. Well, make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel. It goes a long way helping me out. Thanks, everyone.